Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm not really sure what I'm doing this weekend, but I'm gonna take you guys with me. Yes, I love you. You're the sweetest, my bush. Yes, I call him Bush. He is my bush bear. That is his nickname in case you didn't know. So we need to work out and I think I wanna do some decluttering. I need to go through my closet because I found myself online shopping this week and then I came home and looked in my closet and was like, you have so much shit that you don't wear. I constantly wear things that I know that I like and I just ignore everything else in my closet. So I wanna do a purge. I wanna go through my closet this weekend. And I also wanna go through my makeup collection. Maybe I'll film some decluttering videos. I'll show you guys my new um, YouTube setup, hopefully getting a new ring light. So hopefully that will arrive and we can play with that, talk about that in this video, review it together. I'm going to get my nails done at one o'clock. It is... It's 11.40, tell me why it says that it's 6.25 on my watch. I don't know, let's hop to it because I don't have a lot of time and you guys know, I always run late. <laughs> okay, so before I work out, I just wanted to show you guys this product that I use for my hair before I work out. So one of my resolutions this year is to really take care of my hair. Like hair health is a really big priority for me. I don't want to wear extensions to my wedding. I want to have my own like natural hair. So I'm trying to grow it out and trying to make it healthy. Days where I'm working out and I know I'm going to wash my hair after my workout, I apply this before the workout. This is the Aquise Prime 01 Water Defense Pre-Wash. And the instructions are to just mist directly onto dry hair, spray evenly, set for two minutes before washing and cleansing hair. So on nights where I forget to apply it before I work out or where I'm just feeling lazy, I'll just apply it, let it sit for five minutes and then wash it out in the shower. But I like to try and remember to use this before my workout. The longer you let it set in your hair, the better it is for your hair. And then I just comb it through my pony. And like, if I feel like I want a little bit more, I'll spray it in my hands and then slick my hair back because I'm gonna wash this out right after. So I don't really care if my hair gets disgusting and greasy. So that's what I do, not sponsored. Love this product, really big fan. The only thing I'm gonna tell you is that this is a thick spray, so it falls to the floor. It's not like a mist that's gonna evaporate. It's like a thick, milky consistency. It's going to fall on the floor and it's gonna make your floor slippery. And one time, the first time that I used this, I kid you not, I fell on my ass in the bathroom. So if you're gonna use this, you're gonna buy this, wipe down the floor after you use it. Or what I've been doing now is I'll spray my hair over the sink so that it falls into the sink and then I can just rinse the sink out. So you've been forewarned, if you fall on your ass, it's not my fault, this is your disclaimer. Don't do what I did. Now let's go and let's go work out because a gangsta gots to go. I've been doing like this French for like a few months now. I don't know if I'm like over it or I'm just, I'm not sure, but I just did a French this time with black before I had it in red. I realized at the nail salon, I mentioned this and it did not give you any insight as to what the hell this does. So basically to put this in like basic terms, this is healthy for your hair because when your hair is wet, it's weak. Our hair professionals say that like when you're taking care of your hair, try not to brush it when it's wet. And if you're gonna brush it, use a comb. I use this Conair comb. Um, or use like a wet brush because when your hair is wet, if there's a knot, like the, a brush like this is gonna rip the knot out. Got my nails done and let my hair air dry while I was there, I didn't brush it. And when I go to the nail salon, I'm like in rare form. Anyone else, like it should not be allowed, but it's the nail salon and honestly, like no offense, to all the women that go to the nail salon that I go to, but we all look ratchet AF whenever we go. So 
basically just like a water defense pre-wash. Strengthen it from the inside out and reduces water fatigue and styling damage. So that's what this does. It smells really nice. It has like a really faint, like clean, milky smell. And now I'm gonna do my hair using my Revlon hair dryer thing. I did a video on that a while ago when I first got it. I'll link it up here. Honestly, game changing. Like I'm never able to get myself to look like I have a blowout, but using that I do because the whole motion of the brush and the dryer, like I'm just not coordinated enough to do that. But I'm gonna use this Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Primer. Very important to protect your hair from heat. I feel like for most people, it's like either you love doing your hair or your makeup. It, I feel like it tends to be one or the other. I mean, I would look so much better if I liked doing both, but I just feel like if I have extra time, I'd rather beat my face than like do my hair because I enjoy doing my makeup, whereas my hair, don't enjoy doing my hair. Mike wishes I would do my hair more, but I kind of just like separate the top from the bottom. And then I put this on low. All right, so that literally took me like 12 minutes to blow dry my pretty dry hair it was pretty dry make sure your hair is like mostly air dry and if you don't have time to air dry your hair use a regular hair dryer blow dry your hair get it like to be damp more so a little bit on the drier side and then use that i feel like it's more effective because that honestly does a really nice job of like giving you that blowout like body effect but it doesn't do a great job of like drying your hair if that makes sense now I'm just gonna take these coconut oil drops. I've been using these for years. Mark Anthony Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter. I'm just gonna take, oh, that was too much. I just take three drops. I rub them between my fingers. I'm gonna tap off some of the excess on my towel here because that was way too much. And I'm just gonna like run my fingers mainly like at the ends of my hair. Add a little bit more hydration. I just use heat on my hair. So I want to nourish it a little bit. And then what's ever left, I'm gonna try and like sit these little flyaways down. They're so bad in the front of my face, like right here. Because I just like, I'm like a face sleeper and I swear like that's what breaks my hair. Can you see that I filled, I filled one eyebrow in and the other one, this one's filled in and this one's not. What a difference, but I just got a few Amazon packages and I also got my Ipsy Glam Bag for January. So my new ring light is here. Did I mention that in this video? I think that I did. Let's unbox it and see what it looks like because I want to film a makeup video. So I feel like this will really up the quality. I'm excited it got here in time. This is the case it comes in, newer. I will link the ring light that this is down below. You can see my ring light up there. You can also see how it's like slanted on an angle because my sister bought it for me a couple years ago and upon receiving it, she just like slapped it together and broke a piece on the inside. So it has been slanted since I got it. So I need a new one. Wow, it's a lot bigger than the other one. Installation of light stand. Where's the light stand? I'm like confused. Is that sold separately? Oh God. The light stand is not included. How do you not include a light stand with the light? Thankfully, I'm getting rid of my old ring light so I can recycle that stand. So I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it worked out because I'm not wasting that stand. I like recycling, repurposing and reusing, but that's kind of bull crap considering this was $80. I feel like this is definitely brighter than my last one. And you can dim it, make it darker, brighter. Let's see what this looks like with the full setup. We're upgrading in 2020, y'all. We are upgrading and we are upgraded. Let me show you. That is my ring light. These are the shadow boxes that Miguel bought me. They kind of just like soften it and bring a little bit more light to the room. All right, so now that I have the lights up, I'm gonna go ahead and film my first video with my new ring light. I'm like literally late to everything. Mike is like so mad at me that I took forever to do my makeup because I had to film it. But I got my Ipsy bag and I got so excited and I just wanted to try it. So filmed a video using all new products. It's very blue in here. You can't see this. Okay, here we go. Hi, but we're going to dinner. We're going to Mexican. I need a margarita. Okay, so we'll see you on there. I'm so sad. Wow, it's better. Because I didn't film us in Sephora. And you're gonna film us in Sephora? Yeah, I thought that would be so much fun. Mike got a mask, but I got a mask. Okay. I mean, technically, I bought it, so it's my mask. 
I can't remember the last time I was at an Olive Garden. I'm not an last Olive Garden year we didn't eater. Go. Wow, my highlight is on fleek. Fleek. You're so cute. It's your highlight that you I don't think we can go in here. Your highlight this is this way. On. I'm ready for some Olive Garden. Are we gonna get breadsticks? Are you like one of those people that gets the same thing at Olive Garden every time? I do, typically, yes. Let's see, I have no idea what I'm getting. I usually get chicken scampi. There's a lot of people here. I usually get chicken scampi, but yeah. there's some new things on the menu than that most recent commercial, so I might try something different. Ooh, mix it up. Yeah. It's Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little freaky. <laughs> yeah. Save me from Olive Garden. What'd you get? Chicken scampi. Wow, I love a place that gives you butter. I mean, they, the lady puts it on the table after dinner and I'm like, do you want a mint? And you're like, that's not a mint, that's butter. Excuse, does this who not look like butter? Who hands out butter after dinner? I, honestly, babe, I didn't see her put it on, on the table after dinner. I thought it was in front of the breadsticks the whole time. Ah. And I legit thought it was butter. But I'm happy because it's chocolate. I mean, I love butter. The food was good. But I love I chocolate. I'm never going back to Olive Garden. At our table for five minutes and Fortune got whacked by a crayon from the table next he to us. He legit <laughs> threw that crayon at me, but I had no idea. Are you gonna have some? I have one in my hand here. You're hot. Can I have you? You're hot too. You can, can I have you later? Yes. Oh, yes. I got it on bed. On camera. Yeah. Can you believe this guy just told me that my one smile line is deeper than the other one? That was like the rudest thing. Okay. That is like the rudest. I don't even know. I don't even know. Wow, it is. You're, what trash? Trash. Let's look at your lines. He's gonna do his mask that we got at Sephora. Cause now I'm not covering up for him cause he insulted me and told me that my one line is deeper than the other one. How's it going in there? Do you want me to put the mask on for you? You're not allowed in here. Look at this face. How could anyone tell this face no? What did you say? Ugh, excuse me. It's masking time. Chloe and I are ready. We're ready for the entertainment. Chloe, hello, say hi. My two guys. You guys match. <laughs> Don't let appearances fool you, he's the bigger pussy. Oh, he is. Do you want to tell everyone what we're, we're trying? You want to intro the product? Sure. Fortune has talked me into doing the umbilical clay purify mask. Umbilical? Oh, no. I don't think um, it's... Umbrian. <laughs> umbilical? Umbrian. I was joking. What color is this? Oh. oh. <laughs> it looks like a clay mask. Because oh, I know what a clay mask looks like. Oh, it feels heavy. It's clay, babe. Am I going to be able to get out of it? Or is it gonna like encase me in it and then I'm gonna become like a villain? You might become a villain. I think you'll be okay. I'm hoping that whatever you put on will help me clear my skin up and do all the other things that you promised me this would do. I promised you this would do things? Yes. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk smash. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're my beauty guru. I know. All right, three to five minutes. I found these uh, face wipes, reusable makeup remover wipes, slash like skincare remover wipes on Amazon. Miguel is gonna test them out for us. Oh my God, these are so cute and they're so soft. <gasps> so soft. Oh my God. And it comes with a little basket to wash them in. That's so smart. what did you think about the little uh, pad remover things? They worked pretty well. I felt like it was gonna get stuck in my scruff, but- Did it? It didn't, I don't think so. Look how good your skin looks. You look so bright. Wow, I feel bright. Let's look, oh my God. Come on, come in here. Come on. I can't help you. I don't know what to, how to help you. I don't know. It's Sunday, welcome to a Sunday. I love me a Sunday. Aside from like the anxiety that lingers because tomorrow is Monday, Sunday's like my favorite day. I'm uploading a video right now. It's new year, new makeup, Sephora haul 2020. Spent all my money at Sephora, but also I wanted to show you this because I don't think I've shown you guys this bag. I mean, I definitely didn't because I feel like I don't ever really show any fashion. Look at how cute this bag is. Oh my God. And it's made out of like, I don't know what this is made out of. The company is Hot Shore. Hoot Shore, I don't know how to say that, 
but look how cute it is and it has like denim and this is like my weekend bag especially when i'm vlogging because it's just so big and like it has like these buttons that go like this which i like the shape of it with the buttons on but then you can unbutton it and then it becomes like a big tote so roomy like look how much more space you get how cute is that if i can find it i will link it down below i know that this company comes out with like styles often and i don't think they keep them around so i'm not sure if they're gonna have this exact style but they have super cute bags this was like uh, i want to say like a hundred bucks but I literally use it all the time and I was a little worried it was gonna get dirty, but it is like so clean Game plan for the rest of the day. I'm gonna finish uploading this. I'm gonna work on the thumbnail Actually, I'll probably work on the thumbnail in the car and upload the video from the car because Mike and I are gonna go to Target We gotta do a Target run. I don't need any of this, but I'm still here. Ooh, elf Hmm. These are really pretty. I like those blues Hmm. What to get what to get? Always a good choice. Always a good choice. I really don't need anything though. Maybe I'll just behave and not buy anything. Who am I? What is this mini ass jade roller $10? Like, I don't understand why they're so expensive all of the time. We need like actual tissues. We do. Not just the travel with individual little tissues. I've never seen you have them. I travel with this little pack. Whenever I need a tissue on the bus, you never give me a tissue. When I go to Singapore, I like to have it in my bag. Okay, you go to Singapore once a year and you told me you're not going. Do you need candy? No, we don't need candy. I like chocolate, not candy. Is chocolate candy? Oh. I feel like candy is like sugary. And chocolate's not. Mm, good point. I would just like to get it on film that I, myself, am at ShopRite. So the next time you say that I don't go to ShopRite, I'm here. Also, did I? You're by yourself. Ew, I have to go by myself? No, but Babe, I'm here too. Did I buy any makeup at Target? No Target makeup. Wow, don't I get a high five? Yes. Ah, where's my high five? This is what we're working with the remainder of the day. This bedroom is a mess. I have so much laundry that I have to put away. And then the, ah, uh, and then ah, uh, I'm just, there's a lot going on in here. So I need to clean this and then, mm, like, look at all of this crap. Look at all of this crap. Look at this table. Oh my God. First and foremost, these pants are from Tarjay. How cute are these? They're like sneak skin gym pants. Oh, I love them. These are the best workout socks. I kid you not. Like I myself like a low cut sock with like enough thickness. I don't like a thin sock. I don't like working out in thin socks. So these are champion socks, performance cushioned, six pack, amazing from Target. And then I'm just like a champion sock lover. So I stocked up on socks and I'm gonna throw out my old socks. Mike got me these for Christmas. Oh, and he also got me the matching bra top. Look how cute this is. It's like a cute little matching set, especially if you're like a gym goer, like that is so cute. I don't go to the gym, I work out at home. Honestly, these are like too cute to sweat in, in my opinion. I had to get the red pair. Well, Mike bought these for me, but I wear these like so much. I've had them for like a month and I've worn them like 20 times. Look how cute, look how cute. Like how cute is that? Oh my God. I love, I love animal print anything. I've only owned Victoria's Secret bras, honestly. I've never owned like a cheaper bra made in form. I have no idea. But I didn't feel like spending like 60 bucks on a bra. So it was $17 for that bra. Got myself some loungewear. Like if you could feel how soft these pants are. Oh my God, these are so freaking cute. I love these and they're so soft and they have like a little drawstring. This is my favorite pajama brand, Stars Above. Mike found this for me, he bought me my my first like pajama set like last Christmas. They're so soft, I love them. Same brand, super soft, no drawstring. These are just like little like throw on pants. They're so cute, they're so soft. So I don't know if that's boring, but I live for loungewear, gym wear, and socks. Bras, I don't like bras, but I need a bra. So I, I have to wear a bra to work, I guess. Let me show you guys my closet because it's actually like very clean right now. I mean, aside from like that pile, I need to figure out what I'm doing with those clothes. I need to like hang them, clean them, all that kind of stuff. So this is the closet. I need to go through my bags and just like make that look prettier. And then I've just like thrown shoes up here. I don't really know. I just want to like organize this better. And I swear to God, I organize this like once a month. This is like my scent shelf. Oh, and then this is my um, shrine of Miguel over here. Look how fucking hot he is in this picture. Oh. Oh, my lanta. I think about this picture often. I look at it every day before I go to bed and then when I wake up, 
he's hot. And then look, I love this Polaroid of him. He hates it, so I won't show you. But that's when we were slutty playboys for Halloween. And then this was the first time I met my family at my cousin's wedding. So that's like my important little shelf. And then of course, I've always been a daddy's girl. This is me, my sister. She looks like a little boy, but how cute is she? My dad. And then this is a picture of me and my dad at the beach because my dad's favorite place is the beach. Mine too. So I had to put that in here. So that's my little dad and Mike section. The two most important men in my life, obviously. And then as far as perfume goes, I'm not really like a perfume connoisseur, but I do really like the perfumes that I use. My typical go-to is this Nest fragrance. This is in the scent Wild Poppy. Floral, but like a nice floral. And then Mike just recently gave me this one because he doesn't like it on himself. This is the Gucci Memoir. Ah. I don't hate this. I don't love it, but it doesn't last like as long as other ones last on me. And then this is like my favorite, favorite, favorite as of right now. The Jo Malone Poppy and Barley Cologne. So freaking good. Replica Lazy Sundays. It's just like a little travel one. And this is my special occasion one. Hermes Twilly one. It's so nice, but it's so expensive and it's so small that I only wear it on like special occasions. So that is my scent shelf. And then I'm sure you're all wondering what the hell this is. This is my Halloween card from Miguel, but I and it reminds me of my kitty cat. So I leave this on display. I mean, you can't really see it, it's back there, but I do take it out and look at it from time to time because I'm crazy and I'm weird. And then I have like my hair stuff back here, Gucci, fake Gucci headbands, fake Gucci headbands, and then just like scrunchies. I have printed scrunchies in here, solid scrunchies in here. But you know what? I'm gonna like organize all of this and get it like seriously organized and permanently organized. And then I'll give you guys like a closet tour. Oh. This I bought with my aunt while we're in the topic of like family and like memorabilia kind of things. I bought this with my aunt in Montclair. It's supposed to be like a healing tree. It has all like healing crystals in it. A lot of the time before I go to work, I'll touch this and say, please God, let me have a nice day. And most of the time it works. And these are just like where I house all of my jewelry. So I'm gonna go through that. We'll do a tour. We'll do a closet tour eventually, but that's what I have so far. So I got into like organizing mode, which has been a mode that I have been on a lot lately. And it's a new thing. Cause I'm usually like a mess, like an organized mess, mess, an organized, organized mess. Like you look and everything's a mess, but I know, I know where everything is. There's a rhyme and reason in my head. Don't ask me why, but I've been trying to like put things away and be organized. It's like 6.45 and I still need to work out and I didn't film a video. So I've been organizing for the last like three hours. Hello. Welcome to my life. This is my donation pile. Thus far, I went through these three drawers and then a couple drawers in the other guest bedroom. I'm gonna keep adding to this. So this will be out of the way soon. This sits downstairs for the week. This is my work bag. So that's just up here because I had to pack it before work tomorrow. My garbage. We're like way more organized, even though it doesn't look it. I got rid of a lot of things. I put a lot of things away. So I'm gonna go work out. I'm gonna go do all the things that I said I needed to do. It's gonna be a crazy night. So I'm gonna leave you here. I'm gonna sign off on this vlog. I will see you on my next one. If you like this kind of video, if you like the vlogs, give it a thumbs up. This way I know that you like them. Subscribe if you haven't yet and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I had a wonderful time as always and I'll see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.